Andrew Tackett had one of the most impressive performances last weekend at the CJI. He completely obliterated two of the best guard players in the world, Nicky King of Cardio Ryan and Eugene Owen of Flanagan. With an incredible pace, relentless pressure and a touch of police brutality. He ended up losing in the semi-finals to Cade Rotolo in one of the most exciting matches of all time. Tackett showcased a wide variety of dynamic guard passes, including cartwheels, front flips and everything in between. But if you are an average jiu-jitsu student or an old fart like me who can barely get off the couch without pulling a hamstring, then let me break down some of his less athletic passes so you can add them to your game. He used two main guard passes throughout the entire event, with a few variations and combos. So sit tight, grab your favorite acai bowl, and let's explore them together. The first main pass is a variation of the Toriando. It works best when the opponent is on their back rather than sitting up, which will be addressed in the second main pass. So let's start with the first main pass. The idea is to turn your opponent away by controlling the far hip, pinning it down with your hand here, and controlling the near leg, sometimes below the knee, sometimes above the knee, as we're going to see later, as you walk around, dropping your chest on top of that near leg, smashing this leg, forcing Nick's legs to turn away. The arm that's blocking the hip here also helps to prevent Nicky from throwing his leg, high stepping here, trying to recover his guard. Andrew keeps walking around, putting pressure on that top leg, smashing that top leg, forcing Nicky to turn away, so he can finally establish side control. Here same pass again with a little variation, Nick is on an elbow so this knee is already facing away. Andrew pulses on his hip again, controls the near leg and starts walking around, same stuff. Putting weight on top of the near leg, smashing the near leg, forcing Nicky to face his legs away from him. As he walks around, he feels resistance on this near leg. Maybe Nicky is reinforcing with his arm. So instead of forcing away, he's going to tripod up using his head here against Nicky's belly and go to north and south. It's important really to put weight on that hip so Nicky cannot invert recovering his guard. So he tripods up, still checking the far hip. Head low against the stomach, try putting up a lot of pressure here, keeping Nicky's hip pinned to the ground as he walks around into north and south. To prevent Nicky from moving his head away and possibly recovering guard, Andrew is going to check the outside of Nicky's head, establishing north and south. Another example, Andrew does some of his crazy stuff, front flips, trying to cartwheel around. Eventually he lands on the same situation, controlling the near ankle, blocking the far hip, pinning the hip down, as already on the mat anyways, and he's gonna walk around Nicky's top leg, putting weight on top of that leg, smashing, turning Nicky to his side. Nicky does a good job by framing his arm on his leg here, going back flat on his back, trying to face Andrew. So Andrew goes to the north and south variation, still blocking the far leg, tripoding up, heavy on his head, pinning Nick's hips to the ground as he walks to north and south. He's able to clear Nick's leg, pushing away, establishing north and south position. Another situation now, comboing with a different pass. Nicky pulls guard, Andrew takes advantage and push him down on his back. Nicky has double butterflies already, so Andrew is gonna control above the knee this time, since he cannot reach the ankle, blocking the far hip, and he's gonna overshoot jumping over Nicky's legs because of this butterfly he cannot walk around. So he's gonna jump over Nicky's legs, already head low, pinning that hip, but he overshoots, he loses a little bit of control and disconnects his head so Nick is able to invert, trying to recover that guard. Andrew tries to realign himself going back to north and south. He feels the threat of a triangle here. Nicky has this leg in between his arms. If he spins around, he goes to a tornado type of triangle choke. Andrew recognizes that disengages, posturing up, catching Nicky's leg to cut the corner into a stacking pass. Beautiful work by Andrew Tackett. Now let's take a look at the second main pass. The goal is not to turn your opponent away, but rather to go straight into north and south position. So the grips are going to change and it's best suited if your opponent is sitting up because we're going to control his head. Andrew is already setting up his cross grip on Owen's ankle here, V grip, palm up, while the other arm controls Owen's head, sometimes even next to the shoulder, to prevent him from realigning himself with Andrew. Owen wants to move his head away in this direction while Andrew starts passing into this direction here. Owen cannot follow him because the leg is under control, 
so he cannot bring his legs in this direction and he cannot move his head away from him. So he's essentially boxed up as Andrew walks around into north and south. Extending this leg here is also super important to prevent guard recovery and to prevent his knee landing here under Andrew's chest, trying to recover north and south position, inverting. So Andrew does a good job with the head again, really heavy going against the hip here, tripoding up to pin Owen's hips to the mat as he tries to invert and bring his knees in front of Andrew's chest. Andrew does a good job by shucking off his legs to the side and landing into north and south position. Second pass in action. Andrew gets his cross V grip here on Owen's ankle, reaching for his head in a cross face manner here on this side of his head. Eventually he's gonna switch this hand to the other side of his head, but for now it's good enough. Box around, head low, towards Owen's hips, try putting up, pinning the hip down. Owen does a good job with his foot here on the inside, pummeling this leg, but eventually Andrew is gonna free that ankle, freeing his arm as well here, to be able to tripod up heavy against Owen's hip into the north and south. Owen still manages to bring his knee on the inside. Andrew is gonna lift that up, clear the knee, heavy tripod pressure, pinning Owen's hips down to establish north and south position. Another example, Andrew gets his grips, again with the cross face, eventually he's going to change to the other side of Owen's head as he walks around. Owen does a good job now by pummeling the leg on the inside again, connecting his elbow to his leg, more or less blocking Andrew's head here, so harder for him to drop his head on Owen's hip. He sees the opening and he might try to go to a knee on belly here. As he does that, Owen frees his arm, giving space for Andrew to pummel his head on the inside now, pinning Owen's chest and hip to the ground as he walks towards north and south. Owen's leg is still on the inside, trying to hook Andrew's arm. He just clears the arm, head pressure, tripod pressure, driving forward, pinning Owen on the ground. This time Owen doesn't even try to invert. He already knows that he got his guard passed and Andrew reaches side control. Same pass here, different situation. Andrew gets stuck a little bit here on north and south. Owen does a good job here lifting his hips up, inverting, having his leg on the inside pummeled here. Eventually he's gonna try to recover his guard by moving his head away and bringing his legs in front of Andrew here. Andrew recognizes that so he controls the ankle. He's gonna block behind neck or behind Owen's back here so he can walk around into north and south dropping the head into Owen's hip trying to pin down. Owen does a good job throwing his shin in front of Andrew here blocking him so Andrew is gonna just smash that leg opening a little space here to drop his hips right there changing the angle of his hips smashing Owen's leg to eventually establish side control. Now let's combine both passes shall we? Andrew is smashing Nick's guard here, eventually he goes back to number one, pinning the far hip down, controlling the near leg, trying to walk around, smashing this near leg here, trying to face Nick's legs away from him. Nick does a good job by staying compact, connecting knee to elbow, not going on his side, so Andrew is gonna switch to number two, blocking Nick's head here, reaching with his arm to control the near ankle. Nick does a good job trying to stop his arm, but Andrew just frees the arm, pummeling, controlling Nick's ankle here, trying to separate knee from elbow connection, extending the leg in order to create a space here so he can maneuver his torso into this gap. Nick does a good job of balancing him behind him. So Andrew goes head on the belly, pinning the hip down, north and south position to finish the pass. Now let's take a look at this madness. Andrew goes to the second pass. He misses Owen's ankle here, so he retreats. Goes back to the first pass, trying to go north and south. Owen does a good job, spinning around, inverting, recovering his guard. Andrew goes back to first pass, trying to smash the near leg, trying to go north and south. Owen does a good job, almost off balancing Andrew here. He tries to lift the knee, clearing the leg to go to north and south. Owen still doing a good job, he's gonna pummel his leg on the inside here. Andrew is gonna take advantage of that, hugging the leg, cutting the corner, and finishing with the stacking pass reaching side control. And that's all, folks.